Hi, it's Mo, welcome back to the property vlog. This week, 2021 year in review. Oh, and also we've got a new intro. So what did you think? A bit much or uh, did you like it? Anyway, 2021 has certainly been a busy year um, and still sort of very much in the midst of the COVID pandemic. But in this video, we're gonna look back at some of the highs and lows of our 2021 property journey. This year, we've been on site at our development in Whatcom uh, near Torquay, which is a development of uh, eight apartments and four houses. And there's a playlist of videos relating to this. Uh, if you just click up here, you can see the Trinity House playlist. So work has been progressing at pace at Trinity House. Uh, we've had a few delays relating to roof works, etc. Uh, but we're confident we'll get the units completed in the, in the new year. Um, and if you want to check out any of the marketing for any of the units, you can see in the video description below. It's going to be an amazing place for people to live uh, and we're really excited to show them around the finished product in the new year. This year we've been selling our final units at Oyster Catcher Court. Uh, we've got the final unit now which is under offer and just waiting to exchange contracts. Uh, we've repaid the crowd property finance in full and on time. We've got a mixture of owner occupiers there and investors that are doing holiday lets um, but it's a really really special place to live. There's a playlist of videos relating to Oyster Catcher Court which you can find by clicking the link here. We completed the conversion of Regent House this year, which is a former 32 bed large student house. We've um, split it back down into four houses, which it was originally. We've created amazing eight and nine bed HMOs there, which are rented out to working professionals in Plymouth. Uh, we've repaid the crowd property loan, so we've refinanced the project after we'd completed, repaid the crowd property loan in full uh, and on time. Um, and if you want to check out a playlist of videos relating to Regent House, you can do that by clicking the link that's here. We completed on the purchase of our new project this year, which is Bram Dean School in Exeter, uh, which is now named Richmond Grove. That's the marketing name. Uh, Richmond Grove was basically the name of the original buildings that were there when they were built in 1834. So we've chosen that as the marketing name uh, for the project. We are still waiting on the planning decision, but we've had some really productive discussions with the uh, the planners there so we're looking to secure the planning permission in the new year and then we can get started uh, properly with the work we've done some strip out work but we need to wait for the planning to crack on with sort of demolition and, and further work so really excited about that project and if you want to check out some videos relating to Bramdean School or now Richmond Grove you can do that by clicking the link which is here uh, I've just recorded a video on our £500,000 down valuation at Wyndham Hall so we've completed that refinance uh, valuation now we got the down valuation in 2020 uh, like I said I've just recorded a video on this so if you want to see that you can check that out by clicking the link up here also if you want to have a look at a playlist of videos relating to Wyndham Hall and the uh, the development there you can find that by clicking the link that's just here and on the topic of Wyndham Hall we're actually privileged enough to get some more recognition this year for Wyndham Hall so uh, in addition to our two awards we've got the property investors award and the Crowd Property Award. We've also got a highly commended from Plymouth City Council Abercrombie Awards for Wyndham Hall, uh, best conversion slash conservation project. Uh, so there's a video all about that award, which you can find by clicking, yep, you guessed it up here. So a massive thank you to the KHP team for all their efforts on that project um, and all the other projects that we get to deliver as well. From a more view property point of view, we've had a really, really good year. We've delivered uh, a few really amazing HMO refurbs and we've also got occupancy. We got it up to 100% and now it's consistently at 97% in the portfolio, which is amazing because we've got sort of 270 rooms. So it's really, really good to have occupancy that high. Um, so a massive shout out to the more view team um, for putting in another good year in 2021. And the property vlog celebrated its one year anniversary or birthday, depending how you look at it this year. We've had 7,000 views from 27 countries. So really, really happy with that. Um, like I said before, I love doing these videos and it's so nice to look back at the videos um, and be able to see what we've done, the highs and lows of the year. So very happy with how the property vlog is going. Across Moorview Property and KHP Group, uh, we've had some new team members join this year. We've had some OG team members leave. Uh, we've also had our fair share of babies this year. I think we're currently at five uh, across the two teams 
five babies this year, which is obviously going to make for uh, a really, really special first Christmases for those guys. So, um, yeah, just a massive thank you to the KHP and Moreview teams for putting in a shift in 2021. So thank you for watching this video and thank you for supporting the channel this year. Um, if you like the video, please uh, hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel, share this video and share the channel with anyone you think that might get value from it. Like I said, I really enjoy doing the videos and hopefully they bring value to people that are uh, interested in property and investing and things like that. So here's to a healthy, happy, festive break and we'll see you in the new year with some very exciting additions to the property vlog. See ya.